big. Welcome to Man Cave Media. Today, uh, my one and only Comic-Con exclusive that I brought back from San Diego this year wasn't even on site, which I thought was super weird, but um, I, like a lot of other people, stood in a two-hour line at Super 7's pop-up in San Diego during Comic-Con, and everybody had a different goal in mind. Mine was to get the pizza party wagon, and it's here, finally. It seems like it took five ever, but... Uh, part of the problem was it had to be shipped to my cousin's house. More on that in a moment. But anyways, um, it's finally here. So I'm going to stop talking about it. And uh, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to get the unboxing on camera. Because this mother is big. Uh, I think I'm going to have to put my table down and uh, just go for it. But anyhow. All right. Even with my table all the way down, I'm struggling to get this whole thing into frame. So just bear with me. I'll get as much of it as I can as I go. This box is big. Oh, we're getting closer. We're one more level in now. I think I can put the knife away maybe. Going off table. <sighs> Mikey's Pizza. Nope, more tape. Can't put the knife away yet. Oh my goodness. This thing is so cool, man. So funny story really quick while I'm getting this out of the box. The reason it had to be shipped to my cousin's house. Um, as my friend and I are standing in line, my cousin, who's been in a few accidents, so he's, he's, uh, he's a little bit crippled, he wanted to wait for us at the top of the line, right by the opening of the store. And long story short, somebody saw him in his Helmani shirt and invited him in the restaurant while I was still very far away from the front door. And he went in and secured the turtle van so I didn't have to wait in line any longer. But... That did add to my wait time, as like I mentioned, they shipped it to his house, obviously. So I had to patiently wait for it, even longer than expected. Oh, all right, we get our first look at the accessories. So <laughs> the, the pizza toppings are checked off here, just like a pizza box. And if you stood in line for the for the pizza, then you know that some of them had like uh, some weird toppings, like what's checked off here. So we have uh, some pizza slices, we have some pizza boxes, we have some ooze, and we have a boom box. It's pretty cool. I dig it. So is this one solid piece of foam, or does it come apart? You know, I'm going to pull the accessories out here really quick. Set those aside for a moment. I'm trying to be gentle with this, but I don't know. All right, I'm going to have to flip it over here. Hold on. I think it's one giant piece of foam that's taped together. Or, I'm sorry, two pieces of a giant piece of foam that are taped together, I should say. Okay. Yes, that's exactly what we have here. Lots of tape. She's free. Uh, 
Oh, God, the tape is relentless. Oh, there she is. Oh, it's heavy. Right. Onward. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. Stop. Dumb table. What's wrong with you? All right, now I'm confident I can put the knife away. I think we've got all the tape finally. Oh man, look at this thing. The turtle van, Mikey's Pizza. This thing is so cool, man. Sorry, I keep having to adjust my table because this thing is just like huge. But uh, I'll get close-ups of it, of course, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of its overall size. It's a, uh, it's quite a monstrosity. <laughs> it's freaking cool, man. I dig it. Oh, I put the knife away too soon. that holding on to there we go goodness All right let's have a look inside the roof fully opens up so you can put your figures inside. And uh, I love the tape on the seats. That's awesome. There's tape on the front seat as well. The dashboard has a fair amount of, of detail on it as well. It's gonna be hard because the light's not shining in there. So I'll get close up to that with my smaller camera. It's gonna be too hard to get that. Oh, you gotta close the back first. Yep. Whoops, there we go. It's got the shield that comes down, the satellite dish, and the two guns. Oh, this thing is awesome, dude. So on the side here, the doors open. Go. Nope, it just pulls out. All right, so the side door opens and then this swing door opens up and you can attach a turtle to the seat right here. And uh, again, more of the tape on the seat. That's pretty awesome. You can see more of the interior. Um, like I said, I'll get more close-ups with my smaller camera. Oh, there's, I forgot to put that little thing down here. for the step. Let's see, the other door also opens up like so. Now that I got the side door open, it doesn't want to stay shut. <laughs> hilarious there we go and then the back doors also open up yeah it opens I thought so oh hold on go so yeah the back up the back opens up to reveal the motor a little bit of detail on the motor and the exhaust area not bad 
the license plate says Pizza Party with one Z. And it's got the wing, of course. Super cool, man. So I waited in line for two hours for this thing, and I didn't even have to. So uh, as I mentioned during the unboxing, uh, the line was already stretched around the block. And uh, my cousin, you know, he, he's not good for standing in lines. Um, he's had a few accidents in his life. And he wanted to just wait up front for us because there was places to sit down. And he was just sitting up there, and as people are going in, someone spotted him. Uh, he had My cousin had an Omani shirt on. And uh, somebody from San Gabriel Valley spotted him and said, hey, man, come on. You're my cousin, right? Let's go. And so he jumped in line with him and went in and uh, got it for me. So all that time, I didn't have to stand there and wait. Well, I guess I would have anyway, right? Because, you know, otherwise that wouldn't have happened. But anyways, super cool van. <laughs> I'm really excited to have it. Um, I only have the turtles from the third movie um, open that I can actually like put in here. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna open, I have some Playmates turtles, uh, but they're still new in box. I don't wanna open them just for the sake of populating this van. So I might look for some used uh, Playmates turtles on eBay or something uh, that I can populate in here so I can kind of stage it in my office and uh, and display it. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really happy to have this thing. No regrets at all. Um, that being said, let's go ahead and get uh, a ton of close-ups of this thing, and I'll also get uh, some close-ups of the box.
All right, so retail for this guy was $450, which is really steep, but there was really nothing else at Comic-Con that I was shooting to get, so that was the only money I spent the whole time I was there, which is not bad at all, and totally worth it in the long run. Uh, it is sold out on their website currently, and I do see on eBay that people are listing it for silly prices, and there aren't any completed listings yet, but people have it listed on there for like two grand. Uh, I saw one for 1600 and, you know, buy it now only, no auctions. So, uh, as I mentioned, no completed listings for the van. So, who knows what it's really worth <laughs> or what it's actually going to sell for. Um, the original version of this that came out, that, that uh, the original version of this that Super 7 put out a while back, that's just the standard party van colors. That one goes on eBay for about 360 between 360 and 450 um, so I, I don't know because if this one was super exclusive, it's going to be more expensive or what, but so as I was talking about it, it made me think to check on their website and the original one is also sold out. So, but you can get that one on eBay for at retail or below. Um, so I have a feeling that once things settle down, this is going to drop in price as well. If you were trying to get this and you either didn't want to wait in the line or, you didn't want to deal with, I was kind of annoyed having to deal with shipping because I was there, right? Like if you're in line and they have an exclusive for Comic-Con, they should have it on site. That was kind of stupid, but it is what it is. But having to pay for shipping on top of the price, like being there in person, like why? That was unnecessary to me. Probably maybe because of the size of the thing. They didn't want to carry a bunch of them to San Diego, I guess. Uh, I don't know what the reasoning was behind that, but that was pretty annoying. Uh, but if you didn't want to deal with all of that and you were trying to get it, um, I'm going to say just be patient. Uh, looking at the original one that came out, this one's probably going to drop down in price as well. Uh, like I said, none of those listings are complete, um, and they're listed for just, you know, silly pricing. Silly money, I should say. So be patient, and uh, you might be able to score it for retail or close to it anyways. Um, for those of you who are wondering... Uh, <laughs> Here's a, a me for scale. This thing is big, like big by big. It's huge. It's 20.25 inches long and 13.8 inches tall, which is, it's massive. So again, maybe that's the reason why they didn't have them on site at Comic-Con. I'm not sure, but it is definitely cool. It's got a lot of great detail with the doors and the interior. Uh, down to the seat belts, the buttons on the dash. It's just, it's great. If you're a fan of the 90s cartoon, uh, you'll love this thing. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, I can't wait to get this thing staged up and on display in my office. And yeah, I'm very happy with my purchase. All right, that's all I have for this one. Thank you again for stopping by. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and help feed that algorithm. I hope you have a great afternoon. And like always, thank you for watching.